Imagine scrolling YouTube and spotting this headline. India just launched a $2,000 electric car, and it actually works. Two grand. That's less than a used iPhone 14 Pro on eBay. And this thing isn't a golf cart in a Halloween costume. It has real doors, real windows, real headlights, the whole vibe. The company behind it? A four-year-old Indian startup with the very chill name Yakuza Auto. Sounds like the final boss of a PlayStation game. If you're picturing duct tape batteries and Flintstones foot power, keep watching. I've got real-world range numbers, interviews with early owners, and the cost-cutting tricks that let this micro-machine smack Tesla's affordable dream right across the face. By the end of this video, you'll either want one, or you'll be terrified for every legacy car maker's profit margin. Buckle up, or in this case, click the lap belt, and let's go. First, a lightning round of context. Last year, India logged almost 2 million EV registrations, a 17% jump in just 12 months. The government's famed subsidies keep flinging billions of rupees at anyone brave enough to ditch petrol. On top of that, cities like Delhi and Mumbai hand out free parking and tax breaks for EVs like Halloween candy. Translation, the world's biggest EV growth party is happening in India, but the DJ only plays expensive. That's why the budget bouncer, the Yakuza Karishma, is crashing the VIP lounge in flip-flops. Meet the Karishma. It's shorter than a first-gen Mini and lighter than a Harley-Davidson touring bike. It seats two adults plus one stowaway kid. Top speed, 30 kilometers an hour. That sounds slow until you remember that Mumbai rush hour traffic averages 11. In real life, you're basically Lightning McQueen. It looks like a cartoon Fiat 500, LED eyebrow headlights, a tiny chrome grin, and bicycle-thin 13-inch alloys that scream skip leg day. Color choices are simple, bright white, fire truck red, or silver. It's the Pokemon starter pack of paint options. So how do you build a working car that's cheaper than AirPods Max? Trick one. Use local parts only. Every big component, the battery, the motor, the sheet metal, travels less than 400 kilometers before final assembly, so there are zero import fees. Trick two, raid India's e-rickshaw parts bin. The Karishma borrows tuk-tuk motors, scooter speedometers, and a home charger that costs about the same as a fancy latte. Trick three, the five screw rule. If a normal taillight uses 25 fasteners, the Karishma's redesign squeezes it down to five identical screws, tightened with one cordless gun. Fewer screws, fewer minutes on the line, fewer headaches. Trick four, human-powered assembly. No million-dollar robots doing TikTok dances, just waist-high benches and people who know which end of the wrench to hold. Trick five, delete vanity tech. There's no 15-inch touchscreen, no LiDAR puck, no wannabe autopilot. You get a palm-sized LCD that shows speed, battery percent, and whether your headlights are on. That's it. Every part they delete deletes cost. And result, X showroom price 1.75 lakh rupees, right around 2,000 US dollars. Let's talk battery. Under the rear seat lives a 60 volt, 45 amp hour lithium iron phosphate pack. The same chemistry Tesla uses for its base Model 3 in China because it's far harder to turn into a flamethrower. Real world range comes in at about 50 to 60 kilometers. That's 31 to 37 miles. A full wall plug charge takes six to seven hours while you sleep. If you use Yakuza's quick charger, it'll jump to 80% in roughly three hours. The energy cost works out to half a cent per mile. Feeding a small petrol hatchback is about 15 times more expensive. Your wallet just exhaled. Safety headline, no fireworks so far. The pack is wrapped in aerogel insulation, cooled by a simple two-channel battery management brain. And there's a giant red kill switch if things get spicy. It's not a five-star crash sled, but it's also not trying to set land speed records. Step inside and you'll find cloth seats that feel like budget airline economy, perfectly serviceable. The quarter windows don't roll down. They pivot like your auntie's kitchen vent. The steering wheel looks borrowed from a scooter. Yet somehow there's a reverse camera with guidelines in a two grand car, plus USB and Bluetooth so you can blast Bollywood bangers at red lights. If you spring for the luxury trim, you get power windows and a brave little blower. A safety gear is basic but useful. Lap belts, a pin coat ignition, and that big red battery cutoff lever, which also works as a nope button when your friends ask to borrow the car. Of course, the internet is already roasting this thing. Reddit calls it an e-rickshaw that swallowed a smart. Mirrors shake like bobbleheads above 25 kilometers an hour, and the door seals look like pool noodles. And yes, it's legally a quadricycle, so airbags and ABS are dreams you do not get at this price. But early owners say Yakuza's service vans show up in under 24 hours and, more importantly, 
The Karishma humiliates stuck sedans on daily commutes. Every traffic light becomes a Q&A panel because strangers want selfies with the cheapest electric car on earth. Just how cheap? Let's frame it verbally because tables don't play nicely with audio. The Karishma costs about $2,300 and uses a tiny 2.7 kilowatt hour battery. An MG Comet costs roughly nine grand and carries 17 kilowatt hours. A Tata Tiago EV is also around $9,000 with 19 kilowatt hours. Europe's little Citroen Ami, eight plus grand. China's Wuling Mini, 6,200. None of them come remotely close on sticker price or cost per mile. On pure dollars per smile, Karishma is the champ. So why hasn't every big brand done this? Two words, government juice. India's Fame 2 subsidies chop up to 10,000 rupees off every kilowatt hour of battery capacity. Many states waive registration fees and road tax, and a draft Fame 3 bill looks even sweeter for low-cost city pods. Meanwhile, new import duty discounts only help foreign makers that build factories in India and source half their parts locally, giving homegrown Yakuza a massive head start. There's also a sneaky business twist. The car stays cheap because the battery is on subscription. It's about 9.99 rupees a month, 12 US dollars. Swap sheds, think vending machines full of electrons, let you exchange a dead pack for a charged one in three minutes. Dealers keep 70% of the swap fee. Mom and pop grocery stores are literally adding battery bays next to their Pepsi fridges. When the headline screamed, world's cheapest EV, boardrooms everywhere freaked. Tesla's affordable hatch keeps slipping. BYD Seagull is still four times pricier. One Volkswagen exec reportedly called the Karishma sticker Game Theoretic Sabotage. Analysts now ask, if a road legal EV can cost two grand, how do you justify anything else? Meanwhile, Yakuza is negotiating export kits with Kenya and Peru. 12 flat packed cars fit into one 40 foot container, freight under a hundred bucks a unit. If those deals land, a Karishma could hit Nairobi streets for $3,500, cheaper than many 150 cc motorbikes. Of course, potholes, pun intended, lie ahead. Despite copper prices and margins vanish, new safety rules demanding airbags could nuke the entire quadricycle class overnight. One viral battery fire, even if someone drilled the pack, could freeze sales. But remember, people laughed at the Prius, then bought six million of them. An entry-level petrol Alto costs double the Karishma. Over 50,000 city kilometers, the Lil EV drinks 21,500 rupees in electricity. The Alto glugs 277,000 rupees in petrol. You save 255K, enough to rebuy the Karishma and still take a beach vacation. So here's the takeaway. The Yakuza Karishma won't set a Nürburgring record. It's slower than your grandma on a downhill skateboard, and the plastic interior panels could moonlight as lunchboxes, but it obliterates the myth that EVs are luxury tech. If a functional, daily drivable EV can cost the same as a flagship smartphone, every automaker now has to explain their markup. Today, not in a keynote five years from now. Tesla, BYD, Volkswagen, what's your comeback? Because in India, the future of cheap electric mobility just rolled out of a tiny workshop, giggled at your margins, and drove away at 19 miles an hour. And honestly, that might be fast enough to change the world.